When you first came out to LA, how, you were very young when I you was, first came yeah, out? Yeah, I was 15 and a half, and I say that because it's, you know, specific because you get your learner's permit at that age. Right. But, yeah. And, yeah. And, and you came out here, and you did you go all California right away? I did not. No. I came out here at, at a young age, or just out of college, but I, I was very much like a Boston guy who was stranded in LA. Were you, did you sort of go? Well, I was kind of, yeah, Pacific Northwest in LA, but I tried to kind of fit in somewhat and learn the, like, LA stuff and mm -hmm. um, you know a lot of people here meditate and things like that and there's this um there's this thing called tm which is have you heard about it transcendental meditation yes, which is yeah. by the way apparently incredible i would never know because when i went in to learn i walked in and you know mind you at this point i'm probably 16 and i'm i walk in and you know, it's like, it's quiet, and I've been warned of, you know, cults and stuff down in California, you know, and showbiz and all this right, stuff, right. and going from my small town, and I'm, I'm, I walk in, and, and the woman says, this way, and I'm like, okay. We go in this room, it's quiet, you know, shuts mm -hmm. the curtains, I'm like, ooh, I've been warned about sh curtain shutting, I'm yeah. like, what's going on? <laughs> she lights some incense, and she goes, I'm going to meditate on your mantra. And I'm like, what's a mantra? Yeah. No idea what's happening. She sits down. After what seems like a really long time and a lot of incense burning later, she turns to me and she goes, I have your mantra. She's like, what was that? That's what I said. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but I was not and brave this enough. This is what you're supposed to repeat over and over and over again, like the word you're supposed to use the rest of your life. The word you're supposed to use for the rest of your life in transcendental meditation is the whole point. You say this word the entire time. It's like slows your brain down. And I didn't hear what she said, but I was too young to say, what? Yeah. I, I, didn't, I don't understand what you're saying, because I thought if I didn't, then I wasn't hip enough to be a TM person. Like, Wait, right? so this person, you went and you sat with this person for a long time, they meditated, they gave you the My, true word, that, well, that, and you didn't it's, hear it. It's different for everyone. Yeah, but this is what, it, the word is different for everybody. And you're not supposed to tell people what it is, but this is what I heard. Ike. Ike. So just stay, stay with me. I would go and try it, and this was my, my meditation experience. And I was like, this is not calming me at all. No, that is clear. That is not your, isn't it usually like a om day? It's that kind of a sound. You're not supposed to say your mantra. Do I look like someone who has a mantra? Do I look like someone who's achieved inner peace? No, this show is one 25 year long cry for help. Well, I'm going to give you a mantra. Give me one. Give me one, yeah. Here it is. I didn't hear it. <laughs> what if they it, didn't say it. there? Yeah, what if they just no. sneezed? And <laughs> you start the rest of your life going, So I still to this day don't know. Yeah. I never went back and said, hey, can you tell me it again, please? Right, right. Things have worked out very well for you. <laughs> thank I would you. say, don't find out. Whatever you're okay. doing, keep doing thank that. Thank you, thank you.